So, around October 2014, I got a 4790S CPU to replace my old, uh, over here, AMD A6 unlocked, I forget what the number is, it's a Lano Core, I think it was, because I ended up killing this, I think, I don't know, I had two different kinds of memory installed, one had an XMP profile, one didn't, I don't know, but I got the 4790S, like I said, and... I didn't want the unlocked version. I, I don't know why. I don't know what's going through my mind. I was in a rush. I wanted to buy parts. I needed a computer. And if you don't know, uh, Intel CPUs come with different SKU numbers and the letter at the end will designate like K is unlocked. X, I guess, is like extreme or something. And S is low power. And then there's like ultra low power. And I think there's T, I forget what T is, that might be laptop low power, I forget though. And this CPU um, I have going on a Z97A motherboard from Asus. And it's supposed to be 3.2 gigahertz base, 4.0 turbo. And whenever I put my motherboard in automatic mode, it wants to do 3.6 base and usually hovers on 3.7, 3.8, and sometimes it'll go up to 4. And that was with this little dinky stock, stock cooler. And it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work on auto. I'd have to force per, cock, per clock uh, settings to uh, 3.3 uh, 3, 3 ratio, so I get 3.2 gigahertz all the time, no turbo. And that was with this. And that got really fucking hot. Now, I just got this a couple days ago. I had it installed for a couple days to put it through its paces. And I have something interesting to show you about a low powered 4790S. Stay tuned. Okay, so right now, we're, I just restarted my computer so I get to the BIOS. So I could show you the interesting little tidbits here that I found out. Okay, here, let me use my right hand for this business. Okay, so, you know, Asus, normal, BIOS. And it says, uh, they have the 4790S. It says it's running at the right thing. I got my memory out of spec, but who cares? That's, that's not what I want to talk about here. Is, um, it'll show you all this business. And normally, like I said, when I put it in auto, it's, it's variable. I mean, it changes all the time. So what I did was sync all cores, 40, lock it at turbo ratios. Make sure your uh, B clock, 100, don't do any, not that much auto business in here. You don't want over voltage, this isn't a voltage. This is, more, oh, actually the 4790S for some background is more power efficient if you get the same clock speeds with less voltage. I mean, I'll play around with the voltage pretty soon, but uh, it's stable the way it is now. So I put the RAM frequency 100 and 100 and one of my, um, I'll actually just show you here. Here's the SPD. One uh, set of sticks goes up to 2000 and then has the normal JDEC. Uh, and then this one only goes up to 1600. So I have them running at uh, 800 right now, which is effective 1600 at 100 to 100. Um, the, the equal ratio, I, I, I feel like gives me a little bit more, uh, um, not stability, but things are in sync. I like it when things are like that. I remember when I clocked my Q6600, I liked that. I got turbo mode enabled. I have speed step on and all that stuff. I make sure to set the long, uh, duration package power limit to 65 watts, which is what this is supposed to go to if there was a turbo. Um, actually, it's hard to find a lot of specs on this. No one buys this. Everyone gets the 4770K or the 4790K or whatever is new now. I got my voltage for the DRAM apparently at 1.6. Uh, it should be at 1.52, I think. 
because they don't need to be at six for this frequency, a uh, 1.6, because um, the other ones can handle it. Maybe I'll mess with that. And um, got your temperature sensors and all that business here. So let me save changes, restart, and then I'll run a test. Okay, as you can see here in Windows, I got my clock speed instead of 3.2 going up to 4. I got it basically at 4 gigahertz. The voltage and all that business, you know, the memory is running at 800 for 1600. And in I to 64, I'll, I'll, I'll stress everything one at a time. I'll, I'll go one at a time with this here. So. You see it's going up and the teal is the CPU itself well the CPU package and the purple ish is the CPU I don't know and the other two are my GPUs because I have two so right now we're just stressing the CPU so let's stress the floating point unit I'll do a weird jump stress cache And things are pretty happy, quite honestly. I mean, I have my uh, Corsair HADI GT in performance mode right now. And all the temperatures there seem pretty happy and awesome. And I'm able to stress everything out on this system on a 4790S and get great performance. No problems. I ran this all night mining Zifter coins. I do Zifter coin mining. And uh, no temperature issues, no crashes, no problems whatsoever. And when I say no problems, I really mean no problems at all. Let's do some benchmarks here. I'll do the whole benchmark sweet here in Ida 64 so we got my result for memory read pretty decent I'd say let's do a memory write again right up there memory copy Now I hope what happened last night when I was working on this at like 3 a.m. happens again here with memory latency. You can see the top thing here in this list, which seems kind of weird, Athlon 64 X2 Black 6400 Plus at 3.2 gigahertz with dual DDR2 800, which usually means you put it in a lower speed, you have a different strap setting, so you have lower latency. So let's run this. Now I have Vegas in the background to edit this video when I'm done. I don't know if that'll affect it. No, nope, there it is, right there. Awesome latency speed with dual DDR3 1600. Let's get CPU queen test. Again, near the top. Photo works, this one takes a while. <laughs> Again, near the top. Zlib, I guess that's a compression test. Still near the top. Oh god, I can't watch the mouse through the viewfinder of my camera, it's way too slow. 144 hertz on this uh, camera. Doesn't like it, okay. There you go. Still near the top. Let's get some CPU hashing. I don't know if you could hear the computer right now. It's kind of loud, but I have the Corsair cooler in performance mode. 
Oh, and I should actually start up something else here. Uh, EVGA Precision X. Yeah, last night that was higher, but I was just clicking shit when I did that. Okay. Let's get Julia. Oh my god. Floating point unit Julia. Awesome. I guess this is a Mandelbrot set in a floating point unit. I guess all of these are kind of fractalish uh, algorithms, that's what it seems like to me. And the last one. Sweet. So you could see, you could get a low powered Intel i7 and still beat the pants off of some uh, other CPUs if you have the right cooling. And if you like this, like the video. If you like me, subscribe. There's going to be more of this stuff coming. You can watch me live on twitch.tv slash navjack27. Thanks for watching.